almost got me. <laughs> oh, welcome to another video. Right now, we're at the base of Martin Road in uh, Dundas Valley. I don't know this section of the trail very well. I typically do a different area when I ride the cross bike. So we're gonna start out a little bit slower than usual. was hurt. I also decided to drop the pressure significantly in my tires. So it's my real, my first real day running tubeless. Ooh. You're good. Good morning, guys. Hey. Morning. Good morning. Hey, thanks. All right, some fellow riders. So, like I was saying, it's my first real day riding a full tubeless setup, so I dropped the pressure quite a bit. Hoping it works out. Whew. Man, I don't want to ride gravel. I want some single track. What I need to do is ride here with somebody that knows it. Who can show me where the trails are, where the good ones are, where the crap ones are. up on your left. Thank you. Have a good one.
quite a bit of ice on the trail. Okay. Signs. I started here and we've gone this route, I believe, to here. Now we'll go around, see where it takes us. Let's get lost. All right, get some more climbing in. Whew. Let's get that thing off the trail. Oh, this is cool. Whew. Fingers are cold. I gotta say though, climbing on the mountain bike sucks compared to the cross bike. Whew. so damn slow but this will be fun to come down later if I get to oh shit right out of gears Holy man. Whew. Out of gears, out of breath, out of heart rate. <laughs> Hot damn. Whew. Almost there. That's a lot of horse shit. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, there's a dog up ahead. Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Any more? Nope, just me. <clears throat> okay. That was fun. Cute dog. Should be on a leash, but whatever. I'm probably just a little bit jealous because my dog is crazy and there's no way you can have her off a leash ever. But she's also adorable and the cutest goddamn thing in the world. Whew. Hands are still cold. Just on the tip of my fingers. And once again, we're on to a super wide double track that is uh, more cross bike oriented than mountain bike. I actually think I know where I am. I think this is where a turkey ran out in front of me last year. Good morning. Yeah, I think me and Matt were doing some Paris Ancaster recon and a turkey ran out 
just over, just over here in front of the corner. You can see it in one of my previous videos. And he ran in front of us for quite some time. He was a fast little thing. Or she, whichever. Scared the crap out of me though. Starting to warm up. What? Shit. Oh. <laughs> Pedal strike almost took me down. Nice save. You guys almost got a show. Yeah, why not? What's up here? Oh, nothing. Okay. That was useless. Hey. <laughs> nice little brake spot though if you're riding or walking or running or something down here with with some other people You know what might be part of the problem? I might be running too low of tire pressure. So I felt it wash out a bit. Or I'm just not used to it. Uh, we'll come back to that. So that's the main trail. We're gonna go this way first and see where it goes. <clears throat> and it goes nowhere. So let's get back onto the main trail on the left. We'll just swoop on down. took last week. I remember it now. There's a big rock coming up here too, I remember. Nice. I gotta say, it was much more fun on this bike coming down that hill than it was on the cross bike last week. So last time we went left, so we're gonna go right. Whoa. Thank you so much. back to the hills. Cute dog. So you can see I'm wearing my uh, hand up gloves today. These are the neon knit winter gloves. Obviously they're not really knit. They're just a knit pattern. Color is awesome. The fit is awesome. Uh, I don't know if I would Call them a winter glove. Yep, 
it might be more of a, a California winter glove because my hands are pretty cold and it's, it's only minus two. So it's a good fall and spring glove and an excellent cycle cross glove. It's got these little grippies on the fingers and on the palm and a windproof material up front. So it does an excellent job of stopping the wind. So uh, cross season, I'll be getting some more of these. Okay, now I'm lost again. Some more roots. Some horse shit. Something on my bike is making squeaky noises. <clears throat> Good morning. Are you getting yourself? Yeah. All those like short and punchy little downhills are starting to uh, make my hands go numb. Um, what's this way? Let's go this way. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Pick your line. That looks like more fun. Oh, oh pedal strike. I'm not a great mountain biker, but I try. Whew. That was rough. Oh, this is where I came in. Okay. We'll take a break. So this trail that we're on right now, we're going down from Martin Road where the car's parked. Oh, ice. This is actually part of the Paris to Ancaster route, except we'd be coming up it. Ooh. This could get tricky. <laughs> yeah, you just got a tire soon, eh? I know, right? Yeah, let's go up that way. And we'll come back down. All right, let's go up. We'll come back down and we'll continue on because I know where we're going now. But this looks tricky, which means it should be fun. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Whose idea was this? That guy is a fucking idiot. That's what that is. And I mean myself, obviously, because I'm oh, alone. All right, clipped in. There we go. myself right now. <sighs> that was tough. Whew. Okay. Soften this up. There we go. 
not great for climbing. In fact, nice are coming down. Ooh. Oh, oh, hey tree. <laughs> My braking skills are not on point. I'm still a cross racer at heart. Just a wannabe mountain biker. Okay, <clears throat> let's go left, I think. Sure, why not? Uh, this way, sure. So we've come to a fork in the road at uh, the G. Donald Trail. Sounds like a loop, so we have an option of going smaller downhill section uh, and then climbing up this side, which is steeper, or going down the steep one. Since it's off season, we're going to go down the steep one. If I were on the cross bike, I'd go the opposite direction. But this isn't training, this is just for fun. So fuck it. Oh. Good afternoon. Thank you. Well, that ruined it. I also feel bad for saying fuck it in front of what I think were children. I don't know. Who knows? I'm over it. It's the world they live in now. They heard it. Must be a new trail. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, I'll go the steep route. It'll be easier on the way back. What am I, an idiot? <laughs> Don't answer that. Roadie style. Hey, hey, where are you off to? Cool beans, yo. Huh. huh. Now I'm lost. Damn it. My damn back brake is making that noise again. I gotta figure that out. Maybe it's just the way the bike is. Uh oh. Steep climb. Out of the gears. Whew. Oh, we're back onto the power line trail. Paris Lancaster route. Oh. 
shit. <laughs> Lost control for a second. Why did I go that way? That was stupid. Stupidity. Almost took me out. Yeah, it was fun though, so who cares? I didn't get hurt. That's what matters. So earlier in the video, we went up that on the left. Let's try to avoid some ice this time. Oh, holy shit. Oh, it is slick. <laughs> Martin Road. Again, why do I keep doing this? Fuck. <laughs> Victory. <clears throat> okay. Who wants to go back down it? This guy. Come on, you hooker. There we go. Alright. Right back down. Why you didn't let the heart rate settle? So every time I ride my cross bike down this, I look at this trail on the left. And I always want to ride it. So today, I'm gonna to ride it. I'm not so fast. So where is it? There it is. Almost got me. <laughs> Holy shit, I thought I was hitting that tree. <sighs> so even though I parked my car at the bottom of Martin Road, you can't park here and not climb it. That would just be stupid. So I, I finished the ride by climbing the hill and then coming down that ridiculous uh, tight little area, which was awesome, by the way. I really thought I was gonna hit that tree. It made me nervous. Good ride, though. It was fun. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope the sound quality was okay. It's the first real ride where I've mounted it on the bike and used um, the camera pube system to cut out the wind noise. So I don't know how great it will be, but we'll find out soon enough. And uh, I know I'd mentioned my fingers were cold in the beginning of the ride. Uh, they're hot and sweaty now. So once you get used to it, I guess, you know, these are pretty good in the minus two weather. You just have to you know, get used to starting out cold. My feet are pretty cold, just the toes again though, so I think some better socks will do that. Bike performed well, with the exception of the brake squeaking a bit again. Overall though, fun ride. Thanks for joining me. You know, be sure to check out some of the other videos. Uh, we do have some more race footage coming up soon, uh, probably in about two months when uh, race season starts. But until then, you'll see a bunch of, a bunch of training videos and some more just general bike mounted stuff like this. Also be sure to uh, check out my Instagram account for some daily bike stuff. 
and daily dog stuff. Uh, my Instagram account is the suburban cyclist. All right, gotta pack up.